It is no doubt that Batman and the Joker are one of the most iconic pairs in pop culture. So many stories about their conflicts have been told, and they've been adapted constantly. But one factor continues to remain the same in the majority of DC's media. Batman will not kill the Joker. No matter how atrocious and inhumane the Joker's actions are, the Dark Knight refuses to end him. In this video, I'm going to dive deep into Batman's reasoning. The answer lies deeper than a simple moral code. While it is true that Batman has a strict no-killing rule, this isn't the reason for his sparing of Joker's life. Batman refuses to kill because he figures that if he does, he will be just as much of a criminal as the criminals themselves. He won't be able to define himself as a hero. This no-killing rule is very important to the Bat, as he has taught all of his Robins the same thing. But in Joker's case, Batman has hinted many times that he wants the Joker dead. In the 2010 film Batman Under the Red Hood, Batman voices his true views. In one of the final scenes, he says, It had been too damned easy. All I've ever wanted to do is kill him. A day doesn't go by when I don't think about subjecting him to every horrendous torture he's dealt out to others and then end him. Though he says this, Batman knows that he can never commit that act. After that line, he goes on to say, If I allow myself to go into that place, I'll never come back. Batman can never allow himself to have revenge because if he does so, he will lose himself. It, it is the line that he absolutely cannot cross if he wants to maintain his sanity. But there is another reason as to why he won't kill the Joker. Something that goes beyond his morals. Batman's relationship with the Joker is like a game. The Joker commits a violent act, Batman chases him down, and the Joker will most likely get away. Even if he does get caught, he will eventually break out of prison, reigniting the chase. This game has become a cycle that repeats regularly. Maybe not Batman, but the Joker absolutely treats this cycle as a game. The goal of the game, for the Joker, is to make Batman go too far and lose himself, and cr make him cross his moral line. Batman knows this, and in order for him to prevent the Joker from winning, Batman must never lose control. In The Dark Knight, the Joker says to Batman, I don't want to kill you, what would I do without you? To the Joker, his nemesis is just another form of entertainment. That is most likely the true reason why he won't kill the Joker. If he does, the Joker wins their game. Batman fans debate whether the Dark Knight did kill the Joker or not in the graphic novel Batman the Killing Joke, written by Alan Moore. I personally think that he didn't, as Moore knows very well that Batman simply cannot kill him. The clown prince of crime is untouchable. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this type of content and want to see more, be sure to support my channel by subscribing. Take care everyone.